Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Siv, and I'll be teaching you about defense mechanisms for AP Psychology. Here is some background before we begin learning about the different defense mechanisms. Sigmund Freud created many of these defense mechanisms. However, his daughter Anna Freud researched and defined many of them even further. They developed these psychological strategies that are used unconsciously to shield a person from unacceptable thoughts and feelings. They protect people from anxiety and guilt when they feel threatened. So therefore, they alter reality to help people better manage situations. They are used by the ego to decrease conflict between the id and the superego. The first defense mechanism we will be learning about is repression. Repression is when a person blocks thoughts or feelings that are undesirable or that arouse anxiety from their consciousness. An example of repression is when a child is abused by a parent, but they block the traumatizing memories to become unaware of them as an adult. However, they still feel they still feel anger when they see their parent, but they don't know why they're angry. One way to remember repression is by looking at the word and seeing the word press in it. You can imagine someone pressing down on undesirable feelings in order to get them into the subconscious. The next defense mechanism is projection. Projection is attributing one's own unacceptable thoughts, emotions, or behaviors to someone else. An example of projection is when a woman is attracted to her male coworker. She then accuses her husband of being unfaithful when he talks about his female coworker. One way you can remember projection is by imagining a projector. A projector is used to put something onto something else, similar to projection, which puts a person's own feelings onto another person. Reaction formation is replacing one's unacceptable impulses with their opposite. For example, a woman is overly kind to someone that she actually dislikes. Here is one way to remember reaction formation. The beginning of the word reaction and the beginning of the word formation create the word reform. Reform means changes, making changes to improve something. This is similar to reaction formation in that a person changes their unacceptable behavior into another behavior in order to improve. Regression is returning to an earlier psychosexual stage of development to cope with emotions. An example of regression is when a person who is nervous for a job interview may suck on their thumb. In order to remember regression, keep in mind that you are returning to something that was done before. Rationalization is justifying one's own behavior through explanations in place of the real, more threatening, unconscious reasons for one's actions. An example is someone who steals money tells himself they need it more than the person they stole it from. Remembering rationalization is pretty easy. All you have to do is remember the shorter version of the word, rationalize, which means trying to justify one's own behavior. Identification is strengthening self-esteem by forming an imaginary or real alliance with another person or group. An example of identification is when an insecure young man joins a fraternity to boost his self-esteem. To remember identification, just keep in mind that identify means establishing who someone is. A person who uses identification tries to identify with another group in order to fit in and feel good about themselves. Denial is blocking external events from awareness in order to avoid uncomfortable feelings or situations. An example is a person with terminal cancer might tell themselves that nothing is wrong. If you are in denial, you are denying that something is real. Sublimation is transferring unacceptable impulses into socially valued motives. An example is a boy with anger is issues channels his aggressive urges into playing football. Sublimation is substituting something good in place of something bad. The last defense mechanism we are learning about is displacement. Displacement is transferring one's emotions or emotional reaction from one thing or person to another. An example of displacement is a man that has a stressful day at work and he comes home and he yells at his kids to take his emotions out on them. To remember displacement, just keep in mind that displace sounds like misplace. Misplacing something means putting your emotions in the wrong place. Go.